Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs and I am here to share with you guys week four of the acrylic pouring fun. And this week we'll be trying out the pull string technique. So what I'm going to be doing here today is um, mixing up some colors because I did run out. So I'm going to be uh, mainly using black, gold, red. Um, I believe those are the only three colors that I'm going to be using for this one. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the deco art pouring medium into my gold and kind of mixing that up so that it's the right consistency that I need. I will go ahead and mix that down just a little bit further because it's still a little bit thick. So what I'm going to be using for this one today um, is a canvas from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys a total of three um, canvases. These are roughly about eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, and I just wanted to try it out. So I didn't prime it. I didn't just do the canvases. I just um, pretty much went on it straight away. Um, but I will say that moving forward when I do purchase these um, canvases again, I will go ahead and give it a coat of gesso. Um, just to see if there's a little bit of a difference in how the paint kind of flows and how it all kind of um, dries out. I did have a, a, a good experience with the way that it dried. Um, it's not that it didn't dry well. I just want to try out something different. So now that I've um, got that done, I did go ahead and add some silicone on my red color as well as my metallic color. Um, and these paints are by Deco Art as well as the pouring medium that I use um, is also by Deco Art. So I'm going to start by just um, adding a layer of black. I'm going to paint the entire canvas black so that I have a nice layer, um, you know, a nice base coat, if you will, uh, to apply my other colors to. Now, I um, will sadly say that I did have somewhat of a snafu uh, with this canvas. Um, not while I was making it, but I did put it to dry and I had um, placed it with a plastic under like a plastic um, sheet under it and unfortunately the fan caught it and flipped the plastic onto the canvas I was like what but um, luckily I was able to save it um, but I didn't record that part of it so what you see here um, is actually the original version um, and what you might see later on in the pictures that I've included towards the end it's actually how it came out um, once I fixed it which you're gonna see it's completely different from the other two it's got a lot more of the flowers um, so that's what we're attempting to do today is to create a flower uh, using a string so super super cool I went ahead and try to get my paint on as layered as I possibly could um, so I try to cover the canvas up as well as I possibly could and if I didn't mention it, this um, hashtag event is an event that I'm hosting along with uh, Teresa's Creations. Make sure that you go and check her out. I will leave a link to her channel down below. She's been doing awesome, awesome canvases as well. And every week so far for the past four weeks, we've been trying out a different um, technique. Next week is going to be super fun because we actually get to freestyle it. Um, so I'm dying to see what she's going to create and I'm super excited to see what I'll end up creating as well. Um, we also have joining us in this hashtag event. She's one of the participants um, is Crafts and More Donna Jackson and I will also go ahead and leave a link to her channel down below because she's going to be doing her canvases live which is what she's been doing for the past four weeks. Um, and again this event was, um, was open to everybody to participate in um, but I'm super happy and super excited that you guys have at least come by and watched and supported our creations so thank you all so much for that. So I'm trying to kind of um, get this paint somewhat leveled on here. I do get it somewhat leveled, not all the way leveled. Um, but, uh, you know, we live and we learn. <laughs> uh, like, I guess, like I've always said before, you know, um, this is like something really, really new to me, this whole process of doing this. Um, I didn't mind that it had a lot of paint on it uh, because at the end of the day, I knew that I was going to be using a string to pull some of that paint, um, some of that paint away. So I was actually kind of okay with it. So I was actually kind of okay with it. So I'm kind of just using my hands to kind of smooth it out. Um, and honestly, you guys, I absolutely love the way that these came out. And you will definitely, definitely see me do this again and again and again. Um, my mind is just like full of so many different ideas for this technique. I think that it can be implemented in so, so many ways. And I'm super excited. So what I'm doing here is I've, I've poured out some of my golds and some of my red. Now I won't be torching 
none of these canvases um i ran out of the lighter fluid yeah but i'm already i already have some coming my way so just gotta wait for it to get here <laughs> um but i didn't torch any of these which was perfectly fine um i did kind of tap the canvases out a little bit and allowed them to kind of release some of that air so the way that i'm applying my string is in the snake kind of um form uh there is other ways that you can do this but I uh, chose to approach it in this way. I think that this way is a little bit easier to do. Um, it's more or less straight away. And you can kind of play with um, the size of how your, flower, your flowers come out a little bit more. Now, I will go ahead and kind of, um, you know, fix up certain areas that I do not like the way that it comes out. And that's what's awesome about being able to use this technique um, is that because I'm not working with so many colors, um, I can go ahead and clean off the areas that I don't like and then reattempt it. So you kind of gently want to lay the string on there and then gently pull it in one direction. I mean, you can go for multiple directions if that's what you would like to do, but you more or less just um, very gingerly like pull it. Um, I think the more that I did this, the better that they came out. Um, this was my, like officially my very first time trying this technique. I did try the figure eight technique um, previously and the flowers did come out nice, but I think that there's more of um, an area to kind of mess it up. Um, or not lay them properly <clears throat> and I believe that this technique is a little bit easier to kind of maneuver the string um, and put it in the direction that you want so that's pretty much what I end up doing throughout this whole process is just kind of repeating the technique of dipping the string and then kind of laying it on the canvas in the direction that I want um, and then just kind of playing with it so here you kind of see me trying to get a little bit bold and a little bit fancy I'm trying to get uh, different kind of effects out of it um you know i start kind of feeling a little bit freer with what i'm doing i start having a little bit more fun with it <laughs> uh, but yes I, I personally i love the way that all three of my canvases came out um they absolutely look gorgeous and i will be giving away um one of the three sets so i will at the end of this hashtag event we still have one more week to go uh one of these canvases will be the canvases that i will be giving away as part of the giveaway for watching the entire um you know process so in order to be eligible to win one of these canvases you must um have uh commented on all of the videos all of the um, acrylic pouring fun hashtag videos and you must also do the same for teresa's creations okay and yes this is going to be super super cool i absolutely love it i love the way that flower itself came out right there like oh my goodness i'm telling you guys the more you play with it the more addicting that it becomes and the more um techniques that you try and like the more freer you start getting with it and it's just like wow so yes i love it and i cannot wait to do more i probably couldn't draw these things or paint these things with my hand if i tried um <laughs> so i'm super happy that it's this simple to kind of get this kind of technique and then I just use some of the scoop away of the black that I have in the bottom and just kind of fill in or darken back up any areas that I feel like, okay, um, it kind of went too left. So now I'm getting even bolder here, you guys. And what I'm doing is adding gold dots, dots everywhere. And I end up actually changing my mind later on about this. Um, and you guys will see that in the other ones. Um, how I end up having to... How I end up kind of like adjusting some of those gold dots a little bit. And I turn them into stars, you guys. Um, yes, I was having a lot, a lot of fun. So here we are now on canvas number two and now that i've gone ahead and demonstrated more or less how the string the pull string technique goes um i was kind of looking to see if there was something else that would give me a different kind of texture and i decided to um include this in this video as well because it's more or less um kind of like the same thing um but i end up using a piece of like broken necklace that i had um in my junk jewelry that i use for like my mixed media and stuff like that 
and it's got like little beads on it um and it's a metal chain and i thought hmm this should definitely give me like some interesting kind of effects and you guys did not disappoint um i've actually cleaned up that little chain and put it to the side <laughs> because i will be using it again super 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 excited i love 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 the way that this one came out and once i did this one with that i was like oh wait a minute i gotta do another one and yes i did <laughs> i definitely definitely did um i was able to smooth out the paint a little bit better on this one and overall they did dry pretty decent i would say um maybe not to perfection but i still have to seal them so once i seal them uh, maybe it, um like some of the little bumps of the paint like um i guess the overlapping paint from it being kind of thick uh, maybe that won't be as visible that's what i'm hoping for fingers crossed but whoever wins it just know that um i did it with love you guys i did it with love <laughs> so and i'll let you guys choose whichever whoever ends up winning can have a choice of the three of uh, which one of the three that they like the best All right, so I've kind of leveled it all as much as I possibly can. I was doing it with a popsicle stick. For some reason, I couldn't find my little spatula to do it properly with, but it worked out. So this is the chain that I'm going to use. And again, I'm doing it more or less in the same technique. I'm just um, laying the paint out on the side and then just kind of uh, zipping the chain itself and then going to proceed to do the, you know, the pulling um, technique. And I did, end up, I did end up getting cells on them, even though I did not torch them because the um, deco art pouring medium does pro does it does kind of give you cells plus the silicone that i added to it the coconut milk serum also gives you some cells so look how pretty you guys <gasps> what what <coughs> love it <laughs> love it love it love it Now these two, the, um, this one and the other one, um, I didn't. I, I learned from the first mistake and I turned the fan off <laughs> and I put it in a safe place. I was like, you're going to dry here nice and safe because I just love it. Now this one as well, I got a little bit bolder um, and I actually added some glitter to it. Now you can't really see it on the video itself, but um, I, you know, once it was dry, which it took about 24 hours to dry roughly, um, you can, the, the, the little bits of glitter is definitely embedded. And you'll see in this video how I go ahead and do that. I will probably add more to it once I get ready to seal it. Um, just so that I can have more of a, a sparkle here and there. But look how pretty these are. I mean both the chain as well as the string um, give you a really really nice effect. And depending on the, the texture of your string or the texture of your chain. You're going to um, get a different kind of result. Now you guys know me. I can never just leave well enough alone. So... Um, I end up adding like a, my attempt at creating some kind of leafy um, something or the other in the bottom it actually ends up looking more like a butterfly which was kind of fine but um, unfortunately I couldn't recreate it uh, the same exact way but one's good enough right at least I got it on one but it came out really pretty at least I love it let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and out of the three canvases that I'm sharing with you guys today which is which is the one that you like the best um, so I went ahead and added more of that gold and then like I said I started feeling a little bit more bold and I'm like hmm I wonder how this will look like you know uh, if I try to make some stars out of them once I started to make stars out of them then automatically glitter popped into my head right because it sparkles just like a star and I was like ooh, uh, yes need to add some glitter to this and so of course I did <laughs> um, and I, I used the string itself to kind of pull out um, some really tiny, like, um, you know, starburst kind of effect. Um, which worked out really well for some, didn't work out so well for others. But overall, it did give me more or less the effect that I was looking for. Um, probably as right before I go to seal them up, I might go ahead and just add them, um, freehand them with a brush and just, you know, kind of perfect them out a little bit. Um, right before I add more you know glitter and stuff to them and the glitter that I used is a very fine glitter and I didn't use very much of it at all I just um, kind of sprinkled a fine little dusting on it 
um, and it embedded nicely and kept the shine so I was really happy about that but I'll be doing more this kind of reminds me of like detailing when they do um the artwork like on cars and stuff like that when they do striping I think is what they call it this kind of reminded me of like doing that so I was like in a zone you guys plus you all know that once I get paint in my hands it's like hard to it's hard for me to stop it's really really hard and I was just having so much fun and I love the way it came out you guys oh my god I love it I love it I love it I think so far out of um, the techniques I would have to say that this is definitely one of my favorites um, and I also like I really really thoroughly enjoy um, the napkin drag like playing with the napkins and uh, you know dragging it through the cane and um, creating different effects and stuff like that that way I really like that one but this one oh MG you guys loved it so I hope that you guys have um, enjoyed uh, these past you know four weeks with this one included um, where we've shared uh, all these different kind of ways that you can go about it and this is like super like easy to do and it really doesn't have to be very expensive at all you can do this with um, any kinds of acrylic paints and there are easy there are even I'm sorry there are even um, ways to do it without the pouring medium you can also use glues and stuff like that which is what um, Donna from Crafts and More with Donna Jackson does so there are many ways that you can go ahead and uh, recreate uh, these similar types of projects so I do hope that you guys will give it a try even if you weren't able to participate in our acrylic pouring fun I do hope that you will go ahead and give it a try I'm telling you guys you're gonna love it you're definitely definitely gonna be enjoying this because once you start it's hard to stop so here we are on canvas number three um, and again repeating the same steps I kept them all the same colors I didn't uh, deviate because I was having such good results um, so you guys will see me do different ones in different colors and you know different techniques and stuff like that once um, this hashtag event is over plus I still have one more hashtag event to, um, to do so super excited about that that's gonna be a lot of fun especially because we can do whatever we like um, you know we we can go ham <laughs> like I like to say so um, again just layering on my paint trying to get it as you know as covered as I possibly can I don't want to oversaturate it you don't need to add as much paint uh, to your base um, especially if your base is like gessoed see my base um, the this canvas is not really like canvas material um, it's kind of plasticky if you will but um, it still did the job it still did the job but I like I said in retrospect I think that next time I will just um, just so just to be on the safer side and probably to have it um, you know probably just grip the paint uh, better at least for my mind's sake because I'm worried <laughs> I'm worried that maybe it's not gonna grip this not gonna grip the paint um, long term but I think it will though I think it will plus once I seal it you'll be good to go so whoever whoever ends up winning it no worries you guys you're not gonna have it falling off <laughs> later on um, it'll be there it'll be there um, so yes so I've got it nice and smoothed out I, I'm like I said every time that I did this I got a little bit better and a little bit better at it um, so I got it more or less nice and smoothed out I don't mind it having some paint um, some kind of pooling of paint I don't want to have it to be too thick but I don't mind some paint because again I need something that's gonna create like that gravitational pull um, and kind of suction in uh, that string when I go and lay it on top to go pull it so but I love them and I think out of all three um, going off of just how it came out at the initial point um, this is my favorite the last one um, all three of them came out beautiful but this isn't my favorite um, this last one here because by this time I already felt more confident in doing it um, so I definitely uh, would encourage that whoever is gonna give this a try get yourself a couple different surfaces to try this on because the first time that you do it you might not get it quite away um, you know it'll take you a little bit of understanding just how to pull the string in the right direction and things of that nature and how to control the string um, but you're gonna have paint so you might as well get yourself a couple different surfaces that you can go ahead and just try it I guarantee you that the more that you do it the better you'll get at it and before you know it you'll be having beautiful 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 um, works of art I absolutely love the love the way that it came out And so I just kind of repositioned the canvas in the direction that I need. And here you're going to see me more or less doing a little bit of that cleanup that I was talking to you guys about earlier. 
um, you know you can you can do a dirty pour and still achieve this um, you know so either way you can still achieve it and if you want to clean it up then you can still more or less go about it the same way that I did and you can even use some of the paint that kind of pulls off um, off of your canvas to you know correct some areas and stuff like that so but I really loved it I had so much fun I've had so much fun throughout these four weeks like doing these projects that I actually do them a little bit early just because I'm so anxious to get in there and get them done um, and play with these paints <laughs> so yes super super awesome and you can definitely see that there's a little bit of cells um, that are kind of popping up um, hopefully the pictures will show a little bit more but I definitely did get some cells on on its own um, I did kind of mix the silicone rather thoroughly into the little cups so I do um, you know I'm not gonna get like huge cells because I wasn't really trying to get huge cells I just wanted a little bit of cells um, to kind of pop in wherever they wanted to kind of you know be as free as how this canvas kind of is and it definitely worked out that way so I'm just placing my finger on the side to try to give it some support um, I was starting to kind of lose the, the effect that I was um, trying to achieve but like I said the good thing is that I'm, I'm working with just black so I'm working with one solid color and I can go ahead and adjust it uh, here and there And now keep playing with this until I get it just right, you guys. And we don't have much longer to go. I wanted to share with you guys all of the examples of um, the different canvases that I created. Um, I didn't want to upload multiple videos for each canvas. Even though the chain is not necessarily part, uh, technically speaking, is not part of the acrylic pouring fun uh, technique that we were sharing. But it is still very much similar because even though it's a chain and not a string, it's still part of the pulling, um, you know, the pulling of the string, if you will. It's just a chain, um, but it's more or less still the same thing. And this is my attempt at adding like um, leaves and things like that, um, adding some kind of something here and there. Um, but I did like the way that this one, this one came out overall. And you can just have fun with them and just, you know, kind of just let your imagination go. Look at how beautiful that came out. I love it. They look like, um, I don't know if they're supposed to resemble like trumpet flowers or something like that, but um, not really good with the flower names, but definitely I loved it. So I'm here, I'm adding again the gold and I'm going to do the same thing again and create some of the little starbursts um, that I created throughout all the other canvases just to kind of keep them somewhat similar. Um, and yes super excited and, and very excited to see who's going to end up winning it and actually excited to see which one of the three you're going to choose <laughs> um so yes you don't have to not choose my favorite just because it's my favorite everything that i do is my favorite one way or the other um but i do it you know with the thought that i know that at, at some point it is going to be going to somebody um and hopefully you'll you've you've enjoyed this um as thoroughly as i have even if you haven't done it you've enjoyed watching me create them um if you you've enjoyed the hashtag you've enjoyed the whole process of it um and you found yourself hopefully inspired to create your own and if you have let me know i cannot wait to see super excited i, I love watching these videos where people are doing these pourings um and all these different effects and just so many cool things uh to try and do i'm like ah, oh, super excited um so yes you guys we are nearing the end of this video i will have some pictures in the um towards the end uh, of this video so that you guys can kind of see also if you don't follow me on instagram check me out at design elemental tomorrow once i release the video i will have um the pictures of the canvases and what they look like um you know before and what they look like after so definitely check them out thank you all so so much for supporting and for watching i greatly greatly appreciate you all and um yes scoot on over to Teresa creations and check out her video and if you want to check us out live and donna's uh channel thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one goodbye